said, and don't think I'm, I'm going to forget about the dishes. Ooh. <laughs> well, thanks for reading that chapter. I know in third grade, potty humor tends to be very popular, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that chapter as well. Um, chapter 15, Dr. Jerry Dragoo later in his room when he was supposed to be sleeping. Bat climbed out of bed and pulled his animal encyclopedia from the shelf. He flipped to the S section and found a page labeled skunk. At the top of the page was a glossy picture of a large black and white skunk nosing along a patch of dirt. In the background of the picture were hundreds of white and yellow daisies Below the picture were a bunch of questions and answers about skunks. Why do skunks spray? Skunks, skunks spray an oily, an oily liquid from glands underneath their tails as a defense. Their spray doesn't cause any real damage, but boy is it stinky. A skunk smell can be detected by a human from a mile away. Where do skunks live? Oh, skunks! can make many places their home. Abandoned burrows constructed by other animals, a hollow log, even underneath your house. Mm. Yikes. <laughs> what are skunks predators? Lots of mammals, including red foxes, coyotes, and domestic dogs, will attack a skunk if they get hungry enough, though only as a last resort because it's difficult to attack a skunk without a smelly reminder of it. But aerial predators, large birds like owls, don't care so much about the scent. For one thing, it's hard for a skunk to spray in a, at an attacker from the sky. For another, many birds of prey have little or no sense of smell. Oh, finally, that got to the last and most important question. Drum roll. Do skunks make good pets? Mm -hmm. oh. Well, skunks are wild animals, and wild animals belong in the wild. But according to world skunk expert, Dr. Jerry Dragoo, Dragu, head of the Dragu Institute for the Betterment of Skunks and Skunk rep, rep, reputations, <laughs> reputations, reputations, well, skunks in general do not make good pets. What makes a good pet is a good pet caretaker. Bat closed the book. He put it back on the shelf right where he always put it, next to his Lego pyramid. Dr. Jerry Dragu, world skunk expert. Bat liked that name. He liked doctors because they usually knew lots of useful things. He liked the name Jerry because it was the same as that funny mouse in the old cartoons, the one who outsmarted the cat, and Dragoo reminded him of Dragon. Of course, there was probably no such thing as dragons, but there might be Dr. Jerry Dragoo. That was someone Bat would like to meet. Oh, wow. We had three pretty interesting chapters today, I'd say. I agree. <laughs> That's Has anybody ever had a skunk, a dog, their dog get sprayed? I oh. have. <laughs> His whole white front was yellow and he stunk for a year. No, no amount year. of tomato juice or anything. Anytime he got wet, he smelled like skunk. So, did you smell him? Did I smell him? Oh yeah. I had to sit in the car with him right after he got sprayed. All the way home, walking across back and forth in front of our noses. It was bad. I still remember it. And that was probably 50 years ago. <laughs> so here are some things to think about. What do you think about the skunk kit's name, Thor? Did anyone else think of that? Or in chapter 12, we had asked you to think about what you would name the skunk kit. And you can post your answer below. It'd be fun to see what people thought. I did bring the skunk kit holder back. Hold on. Oh. Okay, we have more people here. Should I do the skunk noise? Sure. Or see if I can get it. I couldn't get it to work when I did this reading before, but I'm going to give it another try. You can wrap a scarf around your neck. Oh, yeah, with your baby. <laughs> if you didn't hear it, go to Pebble Go try it yourself. So he's changing color a little bit. The skunk kit. You can see the little eye in there. And in the next
next chapter, when Bat gets to the clinic, you'll see what this has to do with the story. And why would you carry a skunk kit like this? And we were supposed to also have another guest who did not arrive yet, but maybe the guest will make an appearance at the Read Across America assembly tomorrow Ooh. or at the next reading. So tomorrow is Red and White Day. We're celebrating the Read Across America Month. So 8.30, wear your red and white, and we will see you at school. See you tomorrow. Bye. And.